So, the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie came out today, um, dropped on Netflix, and yeah, so a lot of things are going on, I kind of have a cold, allergy season is going upon us and I can't stand it, that's why I sound like this. I had to bleach my hair for wrestling, um, this isn't really something I, I can explain, I guess, but yeah, my hair is bleached, for now. Um, but yeah, the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie came out, and I watched it with Cam earlier today. And I'm um, going to do just a quick one minute review on it. I don't really have too much to say. Um, and yeah, I'm working on your, your end stuff like I, like I always am. And um, yeah, I don't really else what to talk about. Let's just get right into the one minute review. So let me get the timer ready here. Clock. Timer for one minute. And here we go. So um, I was kind of looking forward to this new reboot. Requel, whatever the hell it was, and I was really let down. I mean, this movie, I'll give it that, it's entertaining. This film is for sure entertaining when it comes to the gore, when it comes to the brutalness, when it comes to that bus scene, which I know everyone will be talking about. Uh, the cinematography is actually really great. I like the design of Leatherface in this movie. Um, but, man, from a, from a screenwriting and from a filmmaking perspective, this movie is literal dog shit. Uh, it tries to put in so many th different themes about cancel culture and gentrification and all that good stuff. It, it just fails really badly. And it tries to make the lead, like the, the final girl from the first movie, this Laurie Strode character, and it just shoehorns it in at the last minute. Uh, it, it's just a, sh a poorly written version of the 2018 Halloween movie. And, like... Yes, the kills were fun. Yes, uh, the cinematography was actually pretty good. Yes, um, you know, it, it was fun to see Leatherface just completely rip into people. And if, you, and if that's all you're expecting from this movie, um, you're probably going to have a fun time, honestly. I, like, I, again, the gore and the cinematography and the, um, the overall horror of this movie is really good. But, I mean, the characters are so obnoxiously bad so poorly acted and poorly written. I mean, this movie it kind of feels like a fever dream when I look back to it a little bit just because of how bad the acting is and how poorly written it, all, it is. Uh, and the themes it tries to go for, it just misses the mark completely. So I'm going to give the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie a C. Um, kind of conflicted. Was super entertaining. Was really gross in, in like the most perfect way with the gore and the, all that. But... From like a screenwriting, from a filmmaking perspective, it was just a train wreck. It was really bad. So, kind of in the middle here. Pretty forgettable. Uh, just a plainly not that great movie. So yeah, that's all I really have to say about the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But did you guys see it? Uh, let me know what you think. And yeah, I'll be slowly putting out my year-end list. We're going to do like an Oscar thing. Um, maybe like a live stream or something. I don't know. Something with the Oscars, but yeah, I will see you guys later.